Hello, I'm Seamus Dunhu of Eve University. And I'm Igaro Almarin of Eve University. In this episode, uh, we will be covering the basics of salvaging. Uh, so, Igaro is going to be running a mission and creating some wrecks for me to salvage, and I will show you how the salvaging process works. Um, Igaro, we can go ahead and undock. Okay, I'm docking. So, while Igaro is starting the mission, I'm going to be talking about uh, what salvaging is and what modules and stuff you want to fit to your ship for salvaging work. Uh, I am going to first warp myself off to a safe spot. Oh, by the way, Agaro, what mission did you accept? Uh, I've accepted uh, Smuggler Interception uh, versus Bug Raiders, and our destination will be reset. Ah, okay, so I need to go get myself in reset. Alright. I don't remember if the first pocket of the warp in point of the mission has any hostiles, so I'm not going to warp in with you first. I'm going to sit at a safe spot and reset and wait for you to tell me that it's all clear. Alright, so while I am getting myself into reset, let me open up the fitting window and show you what I have fit to my ship. Now, salvaging is the act of using a salvager module on a wreck. Uh, to try and get something of value out of it. This is distinct from looting. When a wreck is generated because something exploded, uh, a wreck is created and loot will be placed into the wreck. If it was a player ship that exploded, then the loot will be whatever was fit to the player ship and whatever was in the cargo hold, uh, assuming that it survives the dice rolls to survive or die. Uh, now, you can loot the wrecks without any special equipment, as long as you've got the cargo space for it. Uh, salvaging, however, actually tries to get some, uh, create something out of the wreck itself. So you'll target lock a wreck, you'll activate a salvager module on it, and you will then... Once the salvager is done, you might get something out of it. Uh, by the way, Agaro, are there any uh, hostiles on the acceleration gate? Negative, so he can warp to me. Alright. I'm going to warp to Agaro within 10 kilometers. Which, for most missions, puts me about on the edge of the acceleration gate. <clears throat> so what I have fit to my ship here, in the high slot modules, are small tractor beam ones and salvager ones. Uh, the salvager ones only have a range of about five kilometers. Right? So if you didn't have tractor beams, you'd have to get within five kilometers of any given wreck in order to start salvaging it. The tractor beams can pull in wrecks and cargo containers from as far out as 20 kilometers, which makes the salvaging job a lot easier. Uh, Igaro, you can go on you can go on in and start shooting things. Okay, going into the pocket. Thank you. Alright. So, salvager ones to actually salvage the wrecks, uh, tractor beams to pull them in. For my rigs, I have small salvage tackle ones, which are categorized with the armor rigs, uh, primarily because the small salvage tackles, well, the salvage tackles of any size, have the same drawback as all of the other armor rigs. Uh, designed to increase a ship's chance of salvage retrieval at the expense of max velocity. So because it has that particular drawback, it's grouped with the, all, all the other armor-related rigs. So to fit small salvage tackles to your ship, you need Mechanics 3, Jury Rigging 3, and Armor Rigging 1. Uh, so these rigs increase the uh, success chance on your salvager modules. Uh, the salvagers themselves need Salvaging 1, which in turn needs Mechanics 3, Survey 3, and Electronics 1. The tractor beams that I just mentioned require science 3. Everything else on my ship uh, is useful to the salvaging job, but not critical. I have a micro warp drive on here. By the way, micro warp, uh, for those of you who are coming back to EVE Online from a long absence, micro warp drives now work in dead spaces. So I have a cat recharger and a capacitor power relay to help with the uh, capacitor regeneration rate, and I've got a couple of expanded cargo holds in my low slots to increase my cargo hold capacity. So I've got 650.2 cubic meters. All right. 
So basically, any wrecks that are beyond 20 kilometers, I can micro warp drive towards them. Any wrecks that are within 20 kilometers, I can pull them in with tractor beams, assuming that they belong to me or somebody in my fleet uh, or player corporation. Uh, and once they're within 5 kilometers, I can start using the salvaging modules on them. Now, if you show info on the salvager modules as fit to my ship, you'll see that it has an access difficulty bonus of 50%. It's taking skills and all that's and um, rigs into account. The base chance for a salvager, if you show info on them from the market, let's see, salvager, its base access difficulty bonus is only 5%. So, the way that calculation is done, I believe salvaging is under mechanics. I have salvaging 4. So with tech 1 salvagers, that would bring my base chance up to 20%. And each salvage tackle rig increases that by another 10%. Additive. So I've got 20% because I'm using tech 1 salvagers at salvaging 4. And... That goes up to 50% because I've got three rigs. If I were using the Tech 2 Salvagers, which require Salvaging 5, the base on the module is 7%, but then that would be multiplied by 5 for my level in Salvaging. So that would start off at 35% before rigs started coming into play. So you can get as high as 65%. Uh, higher chances of Salvaging, I don't I don't think higher chances of salvaging gets you better salvage, though there is some debate amongst the player base about that. Only CCP developers would know for sure, and they haven't said anything publicly, as far as I know. But at the very least, higher salvaging uh, chance helps get through a pile of wrecks faster. Oh, by the way, Agaro, you can interrupt me at any time to let me know that you're done with first pocket. We'll do so, but there are some rats left. Okay. So, higher salvaging chance uh, helps get through a pile of wrecks faster. And... But it's also worth noting that some wrecks are have an access penalty associated with them. Uh, so some wrecks are considered more difficult than others, and therefore will penalize your chances to salvage. If you don't have enough rigs, and you don't have a high enough level of salvaging skill, it's possible that you can't overcome this penalty, in which case the game is just going to tell you that you're not allowed to even try to salvage the wreck. It won't even let you activate the module. Uh, this, I do know that this happens to be true for trying to salvage some sleeper battleship wrecks in wormhole space, as an example. So it's a couple of different reasons you want to try and get your salvaging skill up. Now, as for what you get out of salvaging, that's easier uh, shown than told. So I will skip ahead to the part of the video where I am told that it is all clear in the first pocket. And the last red is gone. Alright, then I am going to activate the acceleration gate. All right. It's very important that you do not send your salvager into a combat situation. In a mission, if there are NPC spawn waves, then a new wave of NPCs that spawn can aggro onto the salvaging boat and um, rip the salvaging boat apart. My alt has lost two salvaging destroyers that way because I forgot that there were NPC spawn waves. So now I'm going to control left click some of the nearest wrecks. Now this is out of range for my destroyer. You know what? Let me move my overview down a bit so I can actually see the target portraits. And they're a bit far away. So I'm going to double left click in space to get closer to the... Uh, I've kind of target locked a rather wide group. I'm going to hit my micro warp drive so I can close the distance a bit. But now I am starting to get in range of them, and Igaro has gone on into the next pocket. And let's see, let me 
need to get closer to that isolated one over there. Turn off the micro warp drive, full stop. Let's pull things in. Now let me get closer to some of the other wrecks. And let me also open my cargo hold so I can show you what's going on here. I'm going to full stop and let the tractor beams continue pulling these wrecks into range. Now that they're within 5 kilometers, I can select one, turn on a salvager, select the next one, turn on a salvager, select the third one, turn on a salvager, select the fourth one, turn on a salvager. Notice that of these three, one of them has loot because its icon is solid. The other three are hollow because they don't have loot on board. So the salvagers have just uh, finished salvaging the wrecks that I tractored in, and I'm now, I've now got these items in my cargo hold. Three armor plates, two tangled power circuits, two chip power circuits, and four fried interface circuits. These items do have a value on the market. Players are willing to buy these sorts of things because they are used as ingredients in making rigs. For example, the small salvage tackle ones that we rigged to our ship. Small salvage... If we look at the small salvage tackle one blueprint on the market, and look at the bill of materials, we'll, we see that each rig needs five armor plates, three contaminated nanite compounds, and five, five fried interface circuits. Right. So salvage material is used to make rigs. By the way, if you salvage a wreck that still has loot on it, the loot will automatically be transferred into a cargo container. So you can still left-click the cargo container and hit the loot all button. By the way, uh, you may sometimes find that somebody else has warped in on your mission, probably because they scanned you down with combat probes and they start salvaging. Salvaging is not a criminal offense according to Concord. So if somebody is salvaging your wreck, the wrecks that you've created, they're not going to be flagged as a thief. They only get flagged as a thief for looting. This is an intentional game design feature according to Crowd Control Productions. So get used to it. So as you can see, with the tractor beams, uh, the tractor beams make it a lot easier for me to uh, salvage these this stuff, since I only have to get within 20 kilometers to be able to salvage something, rather than five kilometers. I just pull it in. Uh, I just pull it in from 20 kilometers to five kilometers. Starting off in the game, you will probably be using a destroyer for salvage work. Eight high slots. Uh, it's an okay cargo hold if you fit it with expanded cargo hold modules and low slots. Uh, so this is what you're probably what you're going to use starting off. Doesn't have to be a catalyst destroyer specifically. Any of the Tech One destroyers will suffice. In wormhole space, uh, battle cruisers might also be used for salvaging work. Now, this is your basic salvager. Uh, let me right-click this one of these wrecks and save location. And while Agaro is cleaning out the second pocket, I am going to return to Eggfi and go show you the Noctis. Alright, I have skipped ahead to the part of the video where I just came back in what is called a Noctis. I've landed on the same acceleration gate, so I'm going to go right back into the first pocket and I'm going to show you some differences. The Noctis is essentially a battle cruiser sized ship with a cruiser sized tank that is specialized for salvaging work. So, if we look at the description, or industrial skill bonus, 5% bonus to tractor beam and salvager cycle time, and 60% bonus to tractor beam range and velocity per level. Normally, the small tractor beam 1 pulls in wrecks from uh, 20 kilometers away and at 500 meters per second. Uh, the small tractor beam 2 normally pulls them in 20% further, 20% faster, so 24 kilometers out. 600 meters per second. But when I fit a small tractor beam 2 to my Noctis 
and I have ore industrial level 4. My tractor beams now have a range of 81.6 kilometers and they'll pull in wrecks at 2,040 meters per second. Watch this. So all those wrecks that my destroyer needed to use a micro warp drive to get in range with, my Noctis is pulling in uh, just fine. Every single one of these wrecks is in range. When crowd control productions introduced the Noctis about a year ago, it was wonderful. So yeah, your first salvaging ship will likely be a destroyer. Uh, but eventually, once you have the skills and uh, the ISK for it, you'll probably be moving up to a Noctis. Makes salvaging missions a lot faster. Basically, I'm just using my micro warp drive on my Noctis to close the distance to the next acceleration gate. Alright, that's close enough. Full stop, cut the micro warp drive. And as you can see, I'm already done with the salvaging work. Well, almost. I'm pulling the last three wrecks now. So now I just have to wait for Agaro to let me know that it's all clear in the next pocket. By the way, I have full Agro and they didn't respond to an additional wave, so in principle you can come in if you want. Okie dokie. Uh, so I think I will actually demonstrate that. So if you have been told that the last... If you've been told that either there are no spawn waves or the last wave has spawned and has aggroed onto the mission runner, you can go on in with your salvaging boat at the same time. If, however, something starts going horribly wrong and the mission runner is destroyed or has to warp out, you have to get yourself out as quickly as possible because they're going to turn on you next. So I'm just locking up the wrecks now and starting to tractor them in. By the way, the Noctis uh, has a built-in capability of handling up to 10 locked targets at the same time. To make full use of that, you do need targeting level 5 and multitasking level 3. If you've got less than that, then you won't be able to lock 10 targets. This will be generally true for any ship, by the way, not just the Noctis or salvaging boats. Uh, so. The ship itself has an electronics-based limit on how many things it can lock, and you as a capsuleer have a skill-based limit on how many things you can lock. Uh, your skill-based limit is 2, plus your level in targeting, plus your level in multitasking. Uh, the ship's electronics-based limit is whatever it says in the show info on the market, plus however many more because you fit auto-targeting systems to your high slots or signal amplifiers to your low slots. Sensor boosters in the mid slots do not count. And there's a Corpy Diviner wreck out at 94 clicks, so I will need to close distance with it a bit. By the way, what I'm doing with these cargo containers, I'm double left clicking the container, that opens it, and I'm clicking the loot all button. And I will double left click that distant wreck to get closer. And I'm also running my micro warp drive.
And mission is done. There you go. By the way, you probably noticed that a cargo container had appeared and then disappeared. That was probably the container with um, Igaro Almaden's required mission loot. Uh, when uh, doing salvage work for friends, uh, you want to make sure you don't accidentally tractor that in. Uh, they do need that item. Unless the mission runner friend has asked you to tractor it in and bring it and bring that cargo on board. Uh, so because it's faster for you to grab, and then you'll just hand the mission required loot off to your friend once you're docked in station. I am, of course, assuming that you are a friendly salvager to the mission runner. If you're a hostile salvager, then grabbing the mission loot is probably the first thing you want to do. Eve has a dark side. Trust is a valuable commodity. Eve was not designed to look like a cold, dark, and harsh place. It is designed to be a cold, dark, and harsh place. So as you can see, uh, no sooner has the mission been completed, or rather all the rats killed, than I'm already almost done with the salvaging work. So the Noctis is very good for this. But like I said, your first step will be a destroyer. Uh, and then after that, you will probably move on to the Noctis as your second step. Uh, for more for more combat risky uh, salvage operations, like say you're salvaging in wormhole space, you might be using a battle cruiser instead. Uh, simply because the battle cruiser can be fit with a bit more t uh, considerably more tank. Uh, so if another player tries to ambush you, the combat squad who's with you in the wormhole pocket can then warp to you and maybe they will be in time to save you. In the meantime, thank you for watching.